All right, so here's the second uh, video in our series of pack goats. And today I'm gonna to talk about the differences in the breeds that I've chosen. And there's a lot of different breeds out there, but these are the breeds that I've chosen. And uh, there's certain reasons that I got what I got. And uh, these guys, I'll, I'll show you why as we uh, look at some of the personalities. So um, stand by, watch some of this video, and then I'll come back on here and I'll talk about why I chose the personalities that I chose. If you can make the perfect pack animal, what would its characteristics be? Uh, and I'm talking pack animals mainly for hunting. Um, I do a lot of backpacking too, but when I'm doing backpacking, we're up there looking for places to hunt too. So think of some of the um, things that you would want in a pack animal. And we're gonna go over why I chose the animals that I chose and the characteristics and some of even the breeds. and. Um, why I chose those. When you're looking for a goat breeder, there, here's one of the things that you have to do. You have to get ones that were bred from bottle babies. And then trying to find some that have, um, male goats are gonna pack more. They're just gonna pack more. You know, when, when they get weathered, th they're still gonna put on that weight and they're still gonna have a lot of uh, more girth to them and be able to pack a lot more, a lot more muscle structure. So you have to, look at that when you're looking at goats. One of the ways that you can almost ensure that that's gonna happen is get a, a good breeder. And there's a lot of good breeders out there. I did a ton of research on what I wanted in a goat before I went and got goats. And I looked at the goats themselves. Um, and, and I was kind of rolling the dice a little bit because I did not go with a pack goat breeder. But I did go with a breeder that I knew they had thought about some pack goats and they put a couple of their goats together to make some um, to make some of the kind of kids that I was looking for, and some of the some of the little bucklings that I was looking for. And so um, all of the pack goats that they came from were registered, but I was looking at confirmation. And if you guys want to see what uh, good confirmation for a pack goat is, you probably need to go look at Mark Warnke's stuff. He explained it really well. There's a lot of people that explain it, but he explained it in layman's terms, in hunter's terms. So um, look for that confirmation that he looks for. Basically real leggy, looks like they got some spraying in them, some shock, shock absorption, and those back feet are facing out. So that's what you look for in these goats. And so when I was looking, that's what I chose. I, I chose those guys and I wanted to be around them. I wanted to see how they were raised and I wanted to see um, how they interacted with humans and dogs um, because if they interact with dogs really well uh, and mine you know they chase them around they push them around and stuff but I mean if they're not just always running away from a dog that means that they're pretty they grew up in a pretty structured household and they're not gonna have a lot of weird quirks so that's the first thing that I look for in goats so the second thing I look for in goats is part of this and this is probably not something that most people are looking for but it's something that I believe is going to be a game changer. And if you look at those guys up there in the trees, <laughs> Cole's up there goofing off with them, and Mervin's, of course, is going to be Mervin and check him out. But if you look at those guys in the trees, just think if I was up there bugling and I'm an elk coming in and I saw that, what do you think I would think? So that's another reason is um, I want my goats to look natural out in the woods. I want them to actually look like they belong there. I don't want it to be something that is weird for animals to see uh, my goats in the woods. So I don't want, you know, like a black one. I don't want white ones. I want that tan color. And uh, that was another reason I chose the goats that I chose. So it works out well, but I'm not sure where those little guys are gonna fit into all this. I kind of got a feeling, um, but I'm not quite sure. Watch out, Cole. Both filling his oats right now. So this is one of the reasons I love Bo. Bo is such a goofball, but, oh, hold on, hold on. 
hold on. But his horns get so itchy. <laughs> so this is how I help him. I used to do it with my hand, but he gets to where he goes sideways in there and he's not trying to hurt me, but um, he, he just tried to scratch his horns and oh, that's gotta feel so good. I couldn't imagine having all that hair that you couldn't scratch it between your horns like that. So that's how I scratch the bow anymore. Okay, this is the third reason um, I chose these guys because they're used to eating the stuff from the Southern Oregon elk woods. If you look, watch them as they go by. This is all stuff that's in the Cascades that I hunt in, and uh, I want them. I wanted these guys to get, and they were raised in that, so I wanted these guys to be used to that. And uh, yeah, other breeders probably have. You know, their goats will eat it too. It's just. Uh, I've known some people that have had some sick goats because their goats never got in the woods and were never able to eat stuff. And I'll tell you, that, that's another thing right there, is when they rub on those fir trees, that's the most beautiful smell in the world. <laughs> Look at that. But anyhow, that's the third reason. So first reason um, was the size and the temperament. Second reason was the uh, color, coloration. And the third reason, because they're already active in the environment that I'm gonna be hunting them in. So if you guys are looking at getting some goats, um, some pack goats, make sure that you uh, look at the breeds. You know, the dairy breeds are smarter, bigger. Um, there's people that use meat breeds to pack with, but uh, for the most part, it's a little bit easier with a good dairy breed. The or the hundred percent alpines are a little bit harder to deal with. You can see a little bit of that in bow, um, but an alpine mix are great. And uh, the Nubians, we'll see. Uh, it's kind of a I kind of took a little bit of a chance, but these guys are their confirmation was really good, and their attitude so far has been amazing. Follow along, watch these guys. I'm going to start taking them on real hikes. Um, up in the elk woods that we go into they're going to help me uh with my scouting as i'm scouting they're going to go with us but um follow along you guys subscribe and if you haven't look, looked at our last video i'll leave it in the end here so if you subscribe and hit that bell the next video coming out is going to show you my plan for how i'm going to use these guys so um, subscribe to that subscribe and when that video comes out you'll get it right into your inbox or into your whatever they call it on youtube so do that all right until then hope you guys are enjoying the pack goat series